Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Warhammer update video. As per usual, if you like these videos, give them a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and drop a comment down below. It's great to hear back from you guys. I do really, really enjoy reading your opinions and seeing what you're looking forward to and you know getting a bit of feedback as well. Now, without further ado, this video is all about the newest Warhammer online update that they did today, good old Faith and Damnation. I watched it, it was pretty good, and there is something for pretty much everybody with this one. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. So there we go. As you can see, more stuff for the Soul Blight Grave Lords coming, and I'm very excited by these guys. So we're gonna get new Blood Knights, which look fantastic. They look really, really cool. They look better than the original Blood Knights, in my personal opinion. Um, they look absolutely fantastic. Um, them undead horses look pretty cool. The way they armored as well look very very nice and very reminiscent of the kind of older ones as well and these ones are of course multi-part plastic kits which look like well, they could be really really good fun the banner that is being carried as well looks fantastic and these vampires look like they are ready for battle no matter what and to charge in on the enemies and definitely definitely in keeping with what we've kind of already seen with the new soul blight grave lords as well which should be really really cool We've also seen new Death Rattle Skeletons, which are very, very nice. Now, previous Skeletons, I don't mind, they're okay, but they look very, very basic and they don't look that great, and they're obviously definitely the chumps that are just thrown in. These guys look a lot better, they look very much like the Orphan Watch from Warhammer Quest Curse City, and I think that's how they're supposed to look. But there is a lot of coolness going on with them, they fit in very, very well. Because of course you're going to be able to use every model from Curse City with normal standard armies as well. So you can add these to it, increase your ranks essentially, or use them in normal battles, which would be really, really good and could be good fun. There is also new Deadwalker zombies, which will replace the current range of zombies that have been available for God knows how long. And these guys look far, far better. They look like they should be a lot more fun. Uh, a lot of them have kind of cool looks to them. So there's the guy with the axe in the head. There's the woman carrying that big kind of rustic looking cleaver. A chap that's got obviously part of his grave stuck to his back. But he's also carrying a sword. A woman who's bound and everything like that. And more going on with these guys. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on these. These could be really, really good to paint up and good fun as well and it should be good fun we're also going to get giant fell bats so of course I think with Warhammer they've done bats before um, whether it's for good old Lord of the Rings or anything like that and they always look a bit cartoony and a bit rough and not not the best these bats look fantastic I must admit, these look really, really cool. The paint jobs on them are fantastic from the Heavy Metal team. Um, and really, really good stuff. And of course, these are going to go along with the current Grave Lords that we've already seen, like Kritzer, the Rat Prince, like the other Vampire Lords, and of course, the new White King model, 
will be part of this kind of setup. And of course, they'll get their own battle tome, which will be really nice to read. This is probably the army that I'm most excited for for a long time. This looks fantastic. I was really, really chuffed with Luminef Realm Lords. Um, these guys, I think, will be my definite collection, though. I think these will be definitely the ones I have to go down this route with these guys because they look fantastic. Now, of course, that's not the only thing for Warhammer Age of Sigmar that we're going to see, and this video will kind of shed some light on that. I was buried in the mountain, trapped under the rock. I have escaped my prison, but my people are gone. And there you have it. So, something new is coming, and this is a god that has been awoken. So, one of the old gods, and it is coming to the mortal realms to destroy, to save, who knows. Uh, not a lot of information around so far for this guy, um, but a bit of interpretation has been left open. So, the current kind of feeling is he's either Kurnothi, something entirely new or Beastman um, it's a mystery which one part of me is thinking it could be Kurnothi uh, so the kind of semi wood elves that are also kind of creatures of the forest at the same time um, they're very unusual, they're very cool and I've got a couple of them from good old Beastgrave um, set which came out ages ago and they're you yeah, know a bit different which should be really really good so a bit of an ex possible expansion into them or it is new beast men and new beast lords um we will have to see with this one but um, I'm, I'm expecting that we'll see some good stuff as soon as they release more information about what's coming after uh, broken lords bellacor uh, broken realms bellacor should i say um this is when we'll find out what this is. If apparently that is going to be the one that comes after Bellacor. So, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But, something something for the future. Moving on though into Warhammer Underworlds. Um, we're going to get a new Warhammer Underworlds Diachasm Warband. Which is Ossiart Bone Reapers. And they are Canaan's Bone Reapers. Bone Reapers. So they have been sent by Nagash to collect the Bone Tithe. And reap some souls. And if not, just obviously collect what they can and destroy everything in the diachasm itself and under a beast grave. Um, this is one of the newest sets from the current season of Warhammer Underworlds. Um, apparently there's going to be one more after this as well, which I would imagine is probably going to be the Soul Blight Vampires uh, because they got a reveal but they've not been spoken about much. Um, it could, I could be completely wrong on that. They could be doing something slightly different. But very good stuff on this one. They've got some really cool looking models. Uh, so you've got Kanan himself carrying that big massive axe. This looks pretty cool. We have a two-handed swordsman. And then we also have a bowman as well. Which is pretty unusual for the Ossiart Bone Reapers. But they look very, very cool at the same time. Moving on from that to a different one of the box games, and we have more Necromunda stuff coming. Um, there is a new House Corridor Redemptionists gang to come. So these are kind of more zealots and everything like that. They're kind of very much um, obsessed with fire. Uh, they have a decent look to them. I do quite like these guys. They look pretty cool. So they all have kind of incendiary attachments to weapons as well. Whether it's a little flamethrower inside the kind of weaponry, you know, bladed weaponry, the mellow weaponry, or a kind of in a flamethrower underneath a double barrel shotgun and stuff like that. Very, very interesting, very, very different, which is uh, always very, very nice. But sticking with Necromunda, they are also going to kind of re-release a new starter set called Hive War, which could be pretty, pretty good. 
in this box as well you're gonna get some really good stuff I might be tempted to pick this up you're gonna get the Escher gang which are of course the warrior women which look fantastic and they are very very cool these are the ones that you first kind of the gang that you first play as if you play the PC Warhammer uh, Necromunda game um, that, that came out not long ago which is a good game as well by the way there is also the Delac gang which is one of the newer ones which are kind of like the I think they're meant to be death worshippers and stuff like that. You will get the usual stuff like barricades, doors, and all that type of stuff and objectives. The new updated rule book, um, more columns and walls, so you've got more scenery and bits and pieces so you can to lay out your battle area and everything like that. Of course, you'll get a gaming mat, you'll get dice, game cards, tokens, and blast markers as well. So you're going to get quite a lot of stuff in the box for this stuff. Um, very, very nice. Definitely worth picking up if you want to get into Necromunda, from the looks of it. Moving on though into Warhammer 40k territory, we're going to be getting a new Adeptus Mechanicus Codex, which could be really, really good. So you'll have all the updated rules for them, everything like that, from the newest version of Warhammer 40k. Uh, and loads of new roster bits and pieces that have been tweaked and everything like that to kind of get everything ready so you can use everything going and there will also be a new Skitari Marshall which looks pretty cool as well and he's definitely a, a more interesting model and definitely worth having a pick up if you like your Adeptus Mechanicus uh, but if you're not into your Adeptus Mechanicus, of course there's also Adeptus Sororitus, uh, the Sisters of Battle, who are going to get a nice new tank um, called Castigator. Uh, don't confuse it with Stormcast Eternal's Castigator, um, which instantly, you know, as soon as I hear that word, that instantly pops into my head. Um, but this tank looks pretty awesome, so it will have extra kind of bolters on the sides everything like that he'll have a new battle cannon loads of iconography just specifically for that tank little bits and pieces that you will be able to kind of combine with other Deptus sororitas uh, units if you wish to as well um, and a lot of good stuff for it it looks really really nice it does look like a pretty cool tank and of course it's based off the usual tanks as well for 40k and space marines like the um, good old rhino and everything like that so it has that basis to it but it will, so it fits in very very well and lastly for 40k there is new orc faction coming which um, I didn't see coming uh, at all which are the beast snaggers so these are kind of very much more focused on squigs and stuff like that and uh, other than a little video all they have shown is this new model which I'm not gonna lie, it reminds me of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS4. Um, I don't know why, I think it's that metal piece in the middle of his head and the shoulder pieces and the fur. Um, just reminds me of her for some reason. A uh, bit of a weird thing to say, but uh, yeah, it just did. But looks pretty cool having that, riding that weird four limbed squig that we've never seen before, or never really seen before. Uh, having a grot hanging off the back as well with a chopper in his hand. Um, very very unusual very very cool and a lot of good stuff coming to Warhammer 40k and to of course Age of Sigmar as well so whether you're a fan of Age of Sigmar whether you're a fan of 40k you've got some good stuff to look forward to and it should be really really good stuff going up forward right that's it from me um, I'm gonna let you guys go have a really good one of course let me know what you think of everything that's been revealed today in the comments down below i'd love to hear back from you and um yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye now